Hey guys, it's Steve from Brothers, and today I'm really excited to show you about this 300 watt Bluetooth radio we had. And the reason I'm excited is because a few months back, I put this radio into this K5 Blazer we're sitting in, and this is my own personal truck. And what it did is it gave some modern functionality to my classic vehicle, and that isn't an easy thing to do. It made the driving experience more comfortable, so to speak. Um, now this radio, it's packed with features, and I'm not going to bore you with every one of them, but I do want to cover some of the main things that I think are important, uh, especially if you're shopping for a classic radio. Now, right off the bat, this is, a, this is a factory fit radio. This does not require you cutting the dash to pieces. It fits right in the factory hole. The knobs fit right through the factory knob holes, and it is pre-adjusted in a jig so that when you get it, you literally slip it in, tighten the nuts on the knobs, put a strap on the back of it, wire it, and you're done. That's really key because we're not going to be modifying the vehicle at all, and it has a very stock look. Now, the second thing that's maybe even more exciting than the fact that I didn't have to hack my dash all apart is its Bluetooth functionality. Now, when I say Bluetooth functionality, I mean streaming music right from your device right to the radio. No extra modules or anything. It's very easy to connect to. And so, like, right now I'm streaming from my phone, I'm streaming some, uh, some Eric Church here. And so, you can see that I've got this plan here. I'll turn that up. There you go. So, the controls now are either manageable from your phone, like so, or you can come over here and you'll see my phone change. There you go. Now we've changed songs using the radio. Um, what this also will do is if you've got Pandora, iHeartRadio, or some other streaming service that you like to use, you can stream those right from your phone too. Now, when it comes down to uh, Bluetooth functionality, it doesn't just come down to streaming music. It also includes using your phone to make phone calls. Now, let's say your girlfriend, your wife calls and they want to go out to dinner. Boom, rings right through the stereo system and you answer the call. Now in this truck, I mounted the speaker right here onto my shift module and uh, it doesn't really, it's not very intrusive at all. That's the microphone that I talk into and the sound from your caller comes through the speakers of the system. It's very cool. Um, and it's very convenient and it's very simple to install and to use. So some of the other features of this radio, it's expandable. It's got lots of power if you just want to use it right out of the box like I am with a couple of speakers. Or it's got RCA output so you can run extra amplifiers. It's got a subwoofer output so you can run an amplifier straight to a sub. It's got a built-in crossover network so you can adjust the sound of your crossover as well as your separate speakers. Um, through your RCAs. It has auxiliary input on the front, super convenient. It has another auxiliary USB input coming out of the back. Now you can use that to either charge your phone, your device, or you can use it to put a flash drive in and play MP3s, FLAC, WMA, whatever. So there's a lot of stuff that's going on in this radio. Let me show you something else that I think is kind of cool. And what that is, is this color, the LCD color change. So you've got a multitude of colors here. You can switch from and kind of fine tune it. Let's say your truck is orange and you want to run something that matches it, boom. Let's say you're wearing blue shoes that day, boom, you can switch it to blue. See, you, uh, your best friend likes the color red, snap, red, you're done. So that's kind of a cool thing. I think that's kind of neat. I also think it's interesting that it has a clock because not a lot of radios have clocks anymore, but realize in a classic, a lot of times the clock either isn't in existence or just doesn't work after this many years. So having a clock is kind of convenient. Anyway, um, what I would recommend if you're shopping for a radio that you consider what speaker options you have. 
Um, in this case, I'm running a set of kick panel speakers down here. These don't require any modifications, just like the installation of the radio itself. They don't require any installation modifications. They just simply bolt onto your kick panels. Uh, that keeps you from having to cut holes in your doors for six by nines or something like that. Also, what I'm running is a dual dash center speaker. It's got good volume. It kind of fills the space. This is a very big space in the K5, and it fills the space really well. We also have some under the seat speakers that will work for your pickup trucks or like if you have a K5 like this, you can slide them under the back seat. That's another option to do. Um, this unit will control a CD changer if you want to go that route, but quite honestly, I don't see the point because you can stream almost anything you want from your phone directly to your radio. Um, with that, I think I've covered most of everything. If you're looking to sh at a radio for your classic truck, I think you should really look into our 300 watt Bluetooth radio. This is the CSO7400. And um, don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel.